So, this is a segue into, uh, from video six, between video six and video seven. If you watched video six, hopefully you watched all the videos, but if you watched video six, then you would have seen um, some of the errors that I moved around. This is the box where I'm putting all the regular errors. Um, I have, where are they at? I have some super errors. Like really wild looking errors I'm putting into this bag. I found a few super errors in video uh, six. And and then I mixed up some of I mixed up some of the pennies. I dropped the penny. If you watch video six, you'll see that I dropped the penny and I was like, oh no. That's why I moved the other pennies away. But what happened was I put I have an extra fine pile, right? I have an extra fine pile. And the penny went into, the error penny went into the extra fine pile instead of the, uh, instead of the error, which I, instead, right, instead of the, the error pile, okay? So, since I'm going into video seven, and this is a long explanation, but believe, believe me, it's worth it. So, as I was going into video seven, I was putting, I, I was separating the extra fines from the from the uh, errors, right? And then when I did that, I like I realized that you know the 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 video that I have up on my screen with the errors, right? I'm gonna was not the one I wanted. The one that I wanted was from CoinCollecting.com. So I'm gonna show you real quick. So this is the one I wanted. I had this other one up. And it didn't show the errors. And there are two, and I'm doing 1950s now, right? So there are two 1950s errors. This uh, 1958 DDO and the 1955P DDO. Now, uh, I believe, let me check something very quickly. Yeah, so P, the Philadelphia, is the uh, no mint mark, right? That's the That means it's made in Philadelphia. So I said, you know what? I didn't have, I wasn't looking for, I found a bunch of, of errors, right? And I wasn't checking for those two really expensive uh, PDDOs. The doubling, uh, you know, the double, the double die on the obverse. I wasn't looking for it. Look at this, man. Tell me what you think. Nineteen fifty five P. And there you see it. It's got all kinds of stuff going on. That all looks doubled. But the real obvious is the, on the five. You can see it right there. But in com combination with the other die strike. Now. What do you think? Leave your comments. And even the L. Maybe even maybe even some of the other letters. This is so by itself. I was like, oh, this is you know, it's got some damp. So I put it in with the error box. This is the, this is my box of errors. All right, all these all these coins here have errors from the uh, the searches I'm doing, but this is the only fifty five with this stuff going on, and on eBay. Let me show you. Somebody has one up for sale. I think I have it up. Now, this guy wants $650 for... Let me see what he's got. Yeah, you can see it on his, too. I guess he's saying that this right here... Let me see if I can put the... Uh, yeah. He's saying this is the doubling. Oh, yeah, and you can see the little chip up there. That's what mine has, right there. But his does not have all the other stuff going on. Oh, uh, you can see he, he does have the... Uh, that looks like a... 
a rim error here. So he does have, you could see it that, that there's a bunch of, but mine is super. You can't even compare that rim error. If you want to, if you're talking about rim errors, you can't even compare. I don't even know what's going on there. Or the whole, the whole thing, really. All, all kinds of stuff. But there, as far as the, if you just want to look at the 55, you got that. That's a really good pit. Uh, it even looks, even looks like there's a shadow going on. Anyway, regardless, that's what it has. And you can see all the rim errors. You can let me know what you think. Is this a, uh, I don't know, two, three, four, five hundred or five thousand dollar card? I don't know. Uh, coin let me know okay so i want to share that i thought that was super interesting that i went through it and then i found one uh, this will go with the super uh the super what am i calling the super errors i will put that with the super errors and maybe it should even be put you know what i'm gonna put it by itself actually i don't even want to mix that up with the other stuff because those other errors maybe they're worth 10 20 30 100 bucks or whatever but this one could be worth thousands for all i know all right, I'll see you in video number seven that's coming up soon. And uh, let me know what you think about this one.